News 13 with Dignifying and Erica Ruiz. Something strange happened in the desert near Socorro, New Mexico on a spring night 42 years ago. It has since become known as the Zamora UFO incident, named for the police officer who witnessed it. While not as publicized as the legendary Roswell incident, this UFO landing made national headlines when it happened and has sparked intrigue and speculation ever since. Tonight, Kim Vias reports there may finally be an explanation for what started as a traffic violation. April 24, 1964, a typical evening on patrol for Socorro police officer Lonnie Zamora. He spotted a speeding car southeast of town and gave chase. Little did he know he was about to become one of the most believable witnesses of a possible UFO. Up to the time I came to this little road, I heard this big uh, roar blast. Zamora told the story over and over on the radio in the days that followed. Halfway through it, I stuck my head out the window out of the car and I see this white egg uh, object. About the size of a car, I think uh, the one said. Yes, sir, it looked like the car had turned over. Uh, I'm going to say it's the size of a car. Officer Zamora also saw what looked like two people standing outside the mystery craft wearing white overalls. And the strange craft appeared to be lifting off. I went up to it close. About 200 feet. I was 200 feet from it. I got off the car and started towards it. When I heard this big noise again, same noise, and the flame coming under it, I got scared and started running back. The radio help from the car. These days, Zamora doesn't like to talk about what happened, but his report 42 years ago was taken very seriously. New Mexico State Police and the U.S. Air Force launched an investigation setting off a frenzy of speculation about the mystery object and whether Zamora had an out-of-this-world close encounter. What happened here in this desert on that Friday in 1964 is considered one of the most credible alleged UFO sightings. Not only was the witness credible, a police officer, there was actually physical evidence left behind at the landing site. A bush was half burned and there were four impressions in the soil where the craft's leg sat. There were also several shoe prints. I think the policeman was really sincere when, when he th thought he saw something strange. I, I don't think it came all the way from outer space. Dave Thomas is with the organization New Mexicans for Science and Reason. Just a, a whole lot of nonsense out there and, and we're just trying to uh, provide a response to that. The group of scientists has a theory which may finally explain once and for all what Zamora really saw on that fateful night. The evidence for this new theory begins with a page from the logbook at the White Sands Missile Range. The uh, Socorro inf incident back in 1964 uh, might have been uh, an American spacecraft uh, that was being tested at the north end of the White Sands Missile Range. According to the log, there was an American spacecraft called a surveyor that was being tested in that area, which evolved to look like this five years later during the Apollo missions. There's also the Lunar Lander, a NASA vehicle flown by Neil Armstrong just months before he landed on the moon. In 1964, there were only two of these landers in existence, and one of them was delivered to White Sands in April, the same month as the famous Socorro incident. When you look at this, or you look at the surveyor, they look pretty different from the explanation and diagram that Officer Zamora gave. How do you explain that? Especially for the... Uh... Uh, surveyor type experiments, the craft was held up by a miniature Bell helicopter. So uh, the combination of the tiny helicopter holding this contraption with the legs and the jets, I, I think it would have looked really strange. Is this the explanation for the long-standing mystery? There are still plenty of believers who are convinced that aliens visited Socorro that warm April night. But the star witness himself has always looked for a more down-to-earth explanation. What was your immediate reaction as soon as you realized that this thing might be an object from outer space? Well, I didn't think it would be an object from outer space because I, I don't believe in, in things like this from outer space. Kim Baez, KRQE News 13.